Hello everyone, my name is Omar and today I'm going to be reporting from Morocco about the conservation of the Muslim Cemetery of Tetuan, a project which has been launched by the Tetuan Asmir Club, friend of UNESCO, with collaboration of the City Council of Tetuan, with the main objective of conserving this historical cemetery behind me. Other objectives include creating a network across the cemetery to improve communication, conserving the natural environment of the cemetery, raising awareness for the need to conserve the cultural heritage, creating a model of successful management by stressing efficiency, highlighting the contribution of the Tetuan Azmi Association as a representative of civil society. To find out more about this interesting project, follow me while I interview Dr. Mohamed Ben Aboud, the Vice President of Tetuan Asmi Association. The project of the conservation of the Muslim cemetery of Tetuan uh, consists of several dimensions. The first dimension is the social dimension because the main purpose of the project is to create a network of paths across this very big a cemetery in order to link uh, many of the popular quarters which surround the cemetery together. These include uh, Bab Mqabar, Bab Jief, Twila, Borbori, Jbil uh, Dersa, and uh, Tala. So the, the first uh, outstanding dimension of the project is to create this network besides of course uh, enabling people to visit the graves of their uh, relatives and loved ones. The second uh, dimension of the project uh, consists of uh, the conservation of the natural environment of the Islamic cemetery of Tetuan. Um, this we have achieved by uh, recycling uh, stones from the mountainous upper part of the cemetery and using it to build uh, paths following the model uh, used and the techniques used in the rural areas of uh, Morocco. And we have also organized many campaigns for collecting plastic and garbage in the cemetery. Um, so the conservation uh, dimension is very important in this project because um, the cemetery is an open space and um, uh, it reached uh, a very critical uh, situation. So we decided to do something about it for the benefit um, of the health of the inhabitants in the surrounding areas and those uh, and the pedestrians who cross the cemetery in order to go to different places. We built these paths uh, relying on several uh, techniques. One is to uh, recycle the cement blocks which were thrown away and which had previously been used in the, in the Medina. And we also used uh, cement blocks uh, from the pavements um, when these were renewed in some of the popular quarters. So recycling has been fundamental for our project. The conservation of the cultural heritage of the cemetery 
is the third uh, dimension of our project and it, it consists of the restoration of 16, 16th century mausoleums which were built during the 16th uh, century by the founders of the Medina of Tetuan, as well as the conservation of the mausoleum of the founder himself, whose name was Ali al-Mandari, and who emigrated from uh, Granada to settle in Tetuan between the late 15th century and the early 16th century. The fourth uh, dimension of our project is the economic dimension. Uh, that is to say, uh, the management of our project is such that we rely on, uh, on uh, labor because labor is cheap and it is uh, uh, efficient. So we only have four workers and we do not uh, spend any money uh, to buy the raw materials or studies or any other expenses. Therefore, all our expenses are basically limited to uh, covering uh, labor. And uh, this is very important uh, because uh, uh, besides uh, being cheap, labor is important because it enables us to support these workers and their families. The fifth uh, dimension is publicity. Uh, publicity is very important for our project and uh, for this uh, we publish articles in the newspapers, we hold interviews with the uh, local radio station and the national radio station, uh, we make programs for television stations and we also organize encounters and colloquiums on themes uh, related to the promotion of our project and our purpose uh, through all this is of course to create an awareness among the public of the importance of the conservation of our cultural national heritage and of our environment as well. I hope you find this project interesting. The Tetuan Asmi Association hopes to attract the collaboration of other institutions around the globe. So please, don't hesitate to contact us if you are willing to collaborate with us or simply by giving us eco-friendly advices. Thanks for watching.